The SEND reforms are designed to ensure support for everyone that is affected by special educational needs and disabilities from birth until the age of 25. Information about the full range of services available is available at www.heartsdirect.org forward slash local offer. For most children and young people with SEND, support will mainly come from educational settings such as nurseries, schools and colleges and also their families. All maintained schools and academies must publish an SEN information report on their website which outlines things such as their SEN policy, how they consult with parents, children and young people with SEN and what provision is made for these children and young people. The reforms reinforce the need for early identification of SEN and educational settings take a key role in this. School Action and School Action Plus have been replaced by the graduated approach. When a pupil is identified as having SEN, schools should take action to remove barriers to learning and put effective special educational provision in place and the pupil's parents must be informed. The graduated approach consists of a four-part cycle of action. Assess, plan, do and review. Assess. The class or subject teacher working with the SENCO, Special Educational Needs Coordinator, carry out a clear analysis of the pupil's needs using a range of information that must include the views of the parents and pupil. Plan. The teacher and SENCO, in consultation with the parent and pupil, plan what adjustments, interventions or support are to be put in place, what impact they are expected to have and a set date for reviewing the impact. Schools no longer have to use IEPs, individual education plans, but they can continue to do so if they wish. If not, schools still must give parents written information about what they are doing. Do. The plan is then put into action. Review. This is where the school, along with the pupil and parent, should look at what progress has been made and decide on any changes to the plan that may be needed. Where a pupil is receiving SEN support, schools should meet with parents at least three times a year to review progress, set outcomes and discuss the activities and support that will help achieve these outcomes. If you are not happy about the support your child is receiving at school, you can ask to talk to the class teacher, special educational needs coordinator, SENCO, head teacher or SEN school governor. In early years and FE colleges, difference arrangements will be in place, so check their website or with them. If, despite the school taking appropriate action, the pupil isn't making expected progress, the parents or the school should consider applying for an education, health and care needs assessment. For more information about all of the help available, visit www.heartsdirect.org forward slash local offer.